Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. My name is Greta and I'm a teacher with Artsphere. So today we are going to be creating our own beehive. And I thought we would do a lesson on bees because bees right now are in danger and many of the habitats that bees live in are being destroyed by pesticides and global climate change. So let's talk about why bees are important. Bees are important because they pollinate flowers. Pollination is taking pollen from a flower and moving it to another flower. And this helps flowers and other plants grow. Bees are also extremely important to the ecosystem because they provide food for other animals. So all in all, bees are very important. And now that it's summertime, bees are out and about and we're going to be seeing them often. So I thought it would just be fun to do a lesson about them. So the materials we're gonna need for this lesson are two pieces of paper, scissors, a Sharpie, oil pastels, and a hexagon shape. I cut this out of cardboard and just made it myself or you can use a tracer if you have one. Um, to make this is super easy. You just get a piece of cardboard, draw the shape out, and a hexagon has six sides, and then you just cut it right out. You're also gonna need glue. So the first step I'm going to take is take one of my pieces of blank paper, and I'm just going to take my little hexagon shape, and I'm just going to fill my paper up with this shape. So I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of these until my paper is completely covered. So once we have a bunch of hexagons filling up our page, we are now going to move on to coloring. And the first step we're going to take with this is we are going to shade our hexagons to look more realistic to a beehive. So the colors we're going to use for this are brown and orange. And we're going to first take our brown and just go around the edges where the black Sharpie is. And then we're gonna take our orange and go over that and just blend it right in. Okay, so my first layer of coloring is down. I have my brown and my orange. And once I feel like I have enough shading on my paper, I can go ahead with yellow and just go over all of the hexagons and fill them all in. So I have all of my hexagons colored in with my yellow and I'm starting to get that beehive effect. Now I'm just going to go in with a black oil pastel just to kind of go over the black Sharpie. If you want to skip that step, that's fine, but it's just gonna add a little bit more dimension and kind of fill in the spots that got covered up. All right, so my beehive is complete and I just went over everything just kind of with my finger and rubbed it in just so that it could be a little bit more blended. Now I am going to move on to making my bee. And for this step, we are going to take our second piece of paper and use this to create the bee. So for this next step, I'm gonna walk you through how to make a simple bee and you can do as many bees as you'd like. I am just going to do two of them. So the first step you're gonna take when making this bee is you're going to start with like a U shape. And I'm doing mine with a pencil and going over with Sharpie, but that is up to you. So I have a little you to start off with. And now I am going to make kind of like a cone shape underneath attached to the U. And this is going to be the bottom part of the B. So I have this cone like shape to start off with. And now we're going to move on to the top half of the B. And we're going to make like a squished heart shape. So now we have like the neck area. And finally, we're going to move on to the top of the head. And this is just gonna be a circle. And then we're gonna add two eyes on top. So here is my head. And now we are just going to add the wings. 
So then the last step for our B is just to decorate it. And you can do this however you'd like. So once you have your bees all decorated, you can just cut them out. So the last step in this project is to just glue your bees down to your hive. Now our hives are complete. So I hope you guys had fun making this project and learned a little bit more about bees and why they are important to us. Have a great rest of your day until next time.